Yeah, well, check me out real quick. Check me out real quick. Let's see. I, I want to put some emphasis on this word family, okay? When you call somebody family, yo, what's up, family? What's up, fam? All right, what's up, fam? If I call somebody fam, that means we got history. You understand what I'm saying? We got history. I'm going to say, what's up, fam? I don't care how long it's been since I've seen you. I did it. Uh, see, a lot of people walk around with this, what have you done for me lately attitude. Like, yeah, we was cool then, but you ain't do shit for me lately. Like, so, you know what I mean? I, that's the wrong attitude because people come into your life at a time, for a time and a season. So, if that time that person was in your life and y'all was kicking and everything was copacetic, this, that, the third, and y'all didn't fall out and to, you know, just time went on and y'all just lost communication or lost whatever and just don't hang out, whatever, that's still fam. Because at the end of the day, the history that y'all do have is more significant than what you've done for me lately. I mean, really. You get, if you got niggas you used to grow up with 20, 30 years ago, you shouldn't be expecting them to do shit for you now still, like, to, 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 to maintain some kind of loyalty or, or whatever you looking for. Come on, the niggas got lives they go through, they grow up, whatever, whatever, whatever have you. So, if a nigga was in your life or a shorty or whatever, somebody was in your life, you like, yo... That's fam. Keep it that way. Because even though y'all don't talk today, that's still fam. That's still fam. So you don't use that word too lo too loosely. What up, bro? What up, bro? It's bro. And then we bro, we cool for the moment. But fam, you call somebody fam, you all the way in there. Be careful.